Hello. Welcome to a really special interview today. We're in the studio of Mary Badges, who is one of many artists in the art shop located inside Huron Valley Council for the Arts in Highland. We're a cooperative of local artists collaborating to sell our work. Our videographer is Mary Neff, and my name is Karen Wojenik. Well, Mary Badges, thank you for inviting us into your studio, uh, your special place where the magic happens. I was going to say, this is my happy place. And, <laughs> and I know a lot of people would be not able to work with so much stuff around but it works for me because i like to see the juxtaposition of materials next to each other and i've been interested in sewing since since seventh grade home at class i was wow. always quite the little fashionista and so i loved sewing clothes and then and then in 1976 i joined the big quilting revival then so i've been making quilts since then and I love making quilts. I like making things that are both beautiful and useful. So, Although, so you intend for them to be functional, not strictly art quilts. Well, I do make art quilts too, but I like they're different. They're different animals. So yeah. I like to think of actually a quilt as art for your bed, but it doesn't. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so um, yeah, and the other thing that. Um, you were I'm, talking about scraps earlier. Oh before yeah, we, so we got on camera. Yes. But when you look around my room, you will see there are baskets and boxes full of scraps, and and although I have bought some of this fabric, honestly, a lot of it has been given to me. It seems like everywhere I go, people hand me bags of fiber because they know I sew. Yes. And. I also I also make mittens for mittens for Detroit, and so oh, yeah. I also get handed lots of sweaters because I make mittens out of sweaters. Okay. And so you deconstruct I, the sweaters and yeah. and and repurpose yes, the I, yarn. I make the mittens. I make first. I make adult mittens, then I make child mittens, and then I use all the scraps to hook rugs. Okay. So I'm using up all of these luscious fibers. And you you really have some very high quality. Uh, scraps in your work and these are mostly given to you yes I mean a lot of this designer um, decorator fabric when you look at the label it's like a hundred dollars a yard and up oh my goodness I mean it's really really good fabric and um, so I did, did wanna... oh I, I did want to say and so when people give me things like that yes. I have felt for like the last 30 years that my mission in life is to use up scraps uh -huh. And to make good things with scraps. And and that's why I take almost, some things I take and pass on to other groups. Like, because I belong to two charity quilt groups too. So some of that stuff gets passed on. Uh -huh. And some of it, we're lucky where we live in our township, we can give fabric scraps with the tiniest bits end up going to simple recycling. Mm -hmm. So very little gets wasted that comes into my house. How wonderful. It goes someplace. How wonderful. Are there certain techniques that, were you going to ask something, Mary? Well, I was going to ask, are you a teacher, Mary? You... Um, yeah, until the pandemic, I, thank you, Mary, for asking that. Until the pandemic, I was teaching a lot in person. And about 22 years ago, I developed a technique I call free cut piecing. And I think of it as drawing with your rotary cutter. So what I do is stack up usually six pieces of fabric. I slice shapes through the stack and then mix and match the pieces in that stack and then sew them back together again. And, um, huh. and I, so when I couldn't teach in person anymore, I started a YouTube channel. So if you're interested in learning about free cut piecing, they're all up on my YouTube YouTube channel that's called Scrap Happiness Studio. And it's all one word. Scrap Happiness Studio. If you Google Studio. on my name, it'll come up too. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. So that's a technique that you developed. How interesting. I mean, based on other people's work. but Yes. It, and the way I developed it was very serendipitous because that was really under pressure to develop a class for my first time teaching gig. And it was really stressful and I was using silks and it works great with silk. Oh. So I've made a lot of peace silk jackets oh, with that. And then I, while I was teaching the silk jacket mm. class, I said, man, these are quilt blocks. 
And, and so I just jumped on from there. And you were off to the races. And I felt like I'd found my artistic voice. It's so natural to me. I'm not a perfectionist in any way. I mean, my quilts are not going to fall apart, but if stuff doesn't match and if stuff's a little off kilter, I'm fine with that. Yeah. No, that's the, I think that's your artistry. Yeah. It's, and, it, it that, works and, for me. and that's also your signature. I, I, people can look at a piece that you've done and say, oh, Mary Badges made that. Do you think that's I hope true, Mary? not just because it's off kilter. No, 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 no. It's the artistry. I think it's the artistry. Yes. I, I love, yeah, a lot of people plan out their work to begin with. I, I might have a tiny germ of an idea when I get started. Yes. But then I just start sewing or painting or whatever and hope that something good happens. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching for something good to happen and I do more of that. Huh. So. Wonderful. Wonderful. I like working that way. It's like I, I'm constantly being surprised by what's happening under my needle, mm -hmm. and I'm rarely bored. And a lot of time, you hear people complaining about the boring parts of quilting. I don't have any of those. Uh -huh. Everything I do, maybe basting a quilt is not that much fun, but it only takes like an hour. Yeah. So yeah. I can I can live with that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your special space and your time with us. And Mary's work is available for sale in the art shop. You'll find Mary and a variety of other local artists. We offer items at a wide variety of price points. Information about the shop is on the website at HuronValleyArts.org. And while you're at the website, check out the Steeple Hall Gallery exhibits. Currently, we are featuring art quilts by Katie McGrath and Katherine Schmidt, and the title is The Power of Black and White. These quilts are captivating on many levels, and the exhibit is free. So come in to see the quilts and browse around the art shop. We're located inside Huron Valley Council for the Arts, inside the historic church at 205 West Livingston Road in Highland, Michigan. We're just south of M59 and west of Milford Road. Our hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 10 to 3. Thursday, extended hours, 10 to 6. Saturday, 10 to 2. And you can find news about the art shop on HVCA's Instagram account, at Huron Valley Arts. We are open when the sign is out, uh, on the yellow sign at the corner of Milford and Livingston Roads. At present, we're accepting applications from artists who would like to join the art shop. Information on the website, HuronValleyArts.org. Next up will be Handmade for the Holidays. This is a special exhibit in the Steeple Hall Gallery and featuring unique handmade gifts for everyone on your list. This will run from December 25th through December 23rd. So we hope you had fun. Watch for more artist studio interviews coming up. Thank you for joining us and supporting local artists.